Well, isn't this a little blast from the past? We're back in the tavern with an official developer update. I remember my first one back in 2018, when I introduced Skeleton Thrones, our first build rat adventure to you all. Such fond memories. They were still some of our best chairs. So moving forward, these developer updates will stay separate from SOT News, giving me a space to be able to provide updates on the live game without bloating our news videos too much. So sorry, you're not getting rid of me that easily. First up, let's jump into Season 14. Our next game update arrives later this week and delivers some of the remaining features we held back from launch. Players will finally get their hands on deployable traps, setting some nasty surprises for their enemies, the ability to hang from ledges while sneaking, and the return of our mischievous disguises. Alongside these features, we've also got some high impact fixes coming in. Quick switching will be removed as promised, preventing players from using crouch to gain a firing speed advantage. Players should no longer be able to grab supplies from barrels after moving out of range, and players should no longer be able to get underneath the Fort of the Damned and take treasure out of the vault. I know this season was all about making mischief, but that was just inconsiderate. From a quality perspective, November's update has gained additional testing time internally and with insiders, and we've been trialling a new process to address critical experience issues as we've locked down the build ahead of launch later this week. I'd say my confidence is about a 9 out of 10, which I know speaks volumes here. But all joking aside, there's been a concerted effort across the team to improve on quality control. Plans are also now in motion for broader improvements to quality at the studio, and I'll share more of those in a future update. Alongside our usual monthly refresh, November's update expands the offering with a bonus of golden doubloons for those playing in the first week of our update, and then a lucrative voyage of luck or a legendary voyage of luck for our pirate legends. These additions will now become part of our monthly refresh, providing more reasons to jump in each month. These new additions are from our live events team, the Pirate Storytellers, who've been growing our live calendar over the last year. They've been bolstering events like our amazing community weekend, more Golden Glory style bonuses, trialling new events like fight nights, and now the expansion of monthly updates, all to keep you entertained during the season. The team has even more exciting things planned for the new year, so stay tuned for more on that soon. Next up, I wanted to give a little update on the player safety and game security efforts over the last month. The team have recently introduced detections for the heavily memed ability to wield giant items, with players now receiving autobans when attempting it. Work to address ban evasion is also progressing well behind the scenes, with game and platform teams collaborating on a solution. Following our text chat improvements in October, the player support team have now been monitoring for inappropriate language and taking direct enforcement on repeat offenders without the need for player reports to come in. While detection and prevention work is still progressing here, the efforts of the team over the last few months has halved the cheating reports since August. We know that this is an arms race and we're not slowing our efforts, but the team's focus here has had a meaningful improvement in the player experience. Now, Onto something coming in our December update. We're going to be making some changes to Safer Seas. We introduced Safer Seas last December, and we've seen it used in a variety of different ways from our players. From learning the ropes, immersing yourself in a story, to creating content, or simply having a chill session with the family. While we knew that this mode could support all those experiences and more, we feel the most valuable is that safe space for players new to the seas to learn the ropes and discover what truly makes Sea of Thieves so special. Reflecting on Safer Seas now and how it's being used by our players, it's clear that it isn't providing that onboarding ramp for new players due to its punishingly restrictive rewards. We were right to be conservative here to ensure we protected the high seas experience. And now we've seen how Safer Seas is really being used by players, we're gonna be making some changes. Safer Seas can of course still be enjoyed for a variety of ways by our players but we're gonna better position this part of our experience as the best place to learn the ropes before introducing crews to the high seas. In order to do this, we're gonna lower the level cap where players earn reputation from 40 down to 25. At the same time, we'll be increasing the golden reputation rewards from 30% up to 100%. This means for new players on the seas, they'll now experience a more rewarding start to their journey with full progression and gold rewards 
all the way up to level 25, before being encouraged to then sail on high seas to continue their journey to pirate legend. Players over level 25 will still earn 100% of their gold in safer seas, but with no further reputation being earned and multipliers like emissary play being locked out, we feel this strikes the right balance. This better positions safer seas as the best place to learn the ropes and give players a great onboarding experience before encouraging them to dive into high seas and carry on their journey. Well, that's the first developer update in the bag. Catch you all next time.